Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin and I'm here to talk about Aeneas and all of his pointless sailing. You know, it's a good thing I bought that time machine because it's like right next to the cloning machine and it's, it's really nice, it's like very convenient. And I haven't had a clone like mess up the space time continue or anything, so it, it, should, it should be fine. Here comes my clone with Aeneas, how are you doing? I'm, I'm very happy, thank you for asking. Is it talking to you, self-centered clone? Oh, what? I, I couldn't hear you, I was busy staring at my handsome and beautiful face. Aeneas, could you, could you just push him off? Thank you, you're such a good man. man. Uh, anyways, so uh, could you tell us your tale? I could. Alright, I take that back. You're right. Yes, yes you will, because you know what? We have slight breezes and faint noises. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll tell my story, but just, just don't push me, okay? Fantastic, go ahead. Well, you see, at this point, my men and I were sailing towards Italy. There was much salt sea spray. Such a maze. Wow. Yeah. And then my men and I, we saw Italy, you know? And then my father and Kaizi said, You gods, lord of the seas and earth and storms, carry us onward on a gentle breeze and breathe on us your kindness. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry, I'm just, I'm allergic to religion. Oh, okay. Yeah, carry on. All right, and so then we had a brief celebration, which is pretty awesome, may I say. And then my father and Kaizis noticed something, like, totally amazing. Look! Look with your special eyes! Horses! This was the first omen. <coughs> four white horses. <coughs> that is what we saw. That was it. Just four white horses. And then I remember my father and Kaizi said, Oh, foreign land, you bring- What is it with you and your father saying stuff? I mean, that's- it's just a bit excessive, man. Come on. He's a great man. I don't understand what you have a problem with. My father was amazing. Well, you know what? He's dead. So it doesn't matter. He's not dead. What are you talking about? <sighs> oh, sorry. I just I got ahead of myself. No, 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 no. It, it no, me. no, just uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Just go on, please. Fine. After my father, my um, dad. Dad works, right? Okay. Um, he said a few great words, and then we brought some offerings to Juno, <laughs> and then from there. <laughs> We set sail once more, and my father, I mean, my um, dad, said uh, a few encouraging words. Oh, comrades! Pull away and stand oars together! I'm sure they did. Yeah, we did, and then we ended up drifting to the side of the shore. And then there was Etna <laughs> on the mountain, and she happened to be on her... Period. Oh god, that's terrifying. Yeah, I know, it was horrible, because no, I was there. So, we decided to hide into the woods thick bushes. Oh, I... Yeah, that's... I'm sure that would be a very safe place. Yeah. Thank you. So, we were able to get some sleep there, and thank the gods <laughs> that, you know, we were safe. But, in the morning, a man came out of the... Closet? Was it your father? No. He came out of the woods. Hey, was it my father? Pretty sure he's straight. Anyways, we didn't know who he was, but we could tell he was in pretty bad shape. You know, like those people that you see where you just want to punch them in the face and hate them for all eternity? Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, so this guy walks up and says, like, crazy things like, Oh my god, I love living on this island. Grass is the best thing since death. Can I borrow one of your swords so I can kill myself? So, my daddy, being the great kind of man he is, Offers this man mercy, and then asks him his life story. Okay, well, I'm... <laughs> also known as your mom's pimp, I was the one on Ulysses' crew who got left behind. He's a fantastic person who I love to talk about. He wouldn't ask for directions, so we got stuck in the Cyclops' cave. The cave, not so bad. The fine china was nice, nice seating, some good cushions. Then when the Cyclops ate Clyde, he kind of got blood everywhere. But I didn't like Clyde because of his beard, so it was okay. But then Ulysses was like, eh, we should probably escape. So then they all escaped, and then they loaded the boats back up and left me here. I've been eating sand and grass ever since. It's lovely, especially with the fine seawater here. Can you take your sword and cut my head off? I don't want to be here anymore. And after I'm dead, that is the only thing that's in my throat, alright? Oh, he sounds like a small dude. He's still alive? That, my friend, is a story for another day. My finger, really? 
Well, before we end the video, I have a little segment that I like to do on the show. Uh, it's the one that's called, We Need to Fit Five Latin Lines Somewhere in This Video, so we're doing it like this segment! So we have five history enthusiasts here with us today, and they're each going to read a little poem for all of you. First up, we have Sedona with her poem, Aeneas is on a boat. Sum pies Aeneas, adite rugiet, dium sum in nawi, nawias es Augustus et fuetat, non expecto et noas nawi, salum tutuum terra, sum fortunatus non habeo scabium. Second, we have Sims with Ulysses as malus weir. Sum patria ex Ithaca comes ineffectilis wixit. No mili acomendentis trojan gen genior amedestor papore profectus hic me dum trinimpinde crulae emendia linquant immersus soli Ustus Scilip Cyclopis in Anthro de Serre. Thirdly, we have myself with the poem Sail. Now we can't as like a doom de merges. Now we can't as como want doom Neptunum non amate te. Now we can't uh, ut puctum et caesum. Cautiones. Now we can't posse cotinet spumane salo. Si habis malum dies, modo nawiga. Fourth, we have Gwen with Being the Volcano Sucks. Itisum volcanos et itisum eratus. Essens volcanos est difficilis. Omines tement te, nomo luquetor te, est soletawi vita. And finally, we have Andrew with I Hate Myself. Solve. Nominus and Kaisis et sum synaxis. Sugats deranae. Sum echo moris mux. Alright, and that was another one of our Latin projects. Thank you for joining us. It was very fun. We kind of broke down Andrew here a lot, but that's that's okay. Whipping that's hurts! Fun. Yeah, <laughs> so it was very, very fun. Uh, so if you want to make some bloopers, uh, there will be a link in here somewhere. Uh, subscribe for more. Do some skits and projects like this and stuff. Uh, also do a lot of gaming stuff and I'm hopefully going to put some some league things in here as well. Uh, should be fun. I'll fun. be in <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, do that and uh, we'll see you next time.